All right, what is up, YouTube and Forty? We're going to be doing the best of the best OCG Thursday. Um, now, I don't have anything super rogue to show you guys, but that doesn't mean that we aren't going to discuss what's going on. This is actually probably going to be the most meta of time. So we're going to be looking at Sky Striker, Sub Terror, and our boy Solomon Great, kind of seeing how the decks have changed going into the April format. Now, of course, it is, in fact like literally three days into the list at this point so a lot of players haven't got that much time to test but these are kind of the first wave decks that we've gotten the chance to see out of the new ocg format so let's dig on into what the ocg well i guess kind of cooking at the moment so we have two copies of ash ball do remember ash is effectively limited there not much we can do about that now 3dd crow and sky striker now sky striker kind of has gotten the butt end of the format over there because Widow Anchor and Engage are both limited to two, which kind of forces the deck to kind of have to evolve and play other things. And we've been seeing DD Crow being a powerhouse here in the States, actually, which has been kind of crazy because, like, DD Crow for a while was abysmal. But when you're going into a format where you're literally like, oh shit, like, the best deck I'm going to have to fucking play against is going to be Salad, like, honestly, this changes the tide of everything and makes those shitty matchups, well, all the better, actually. Uh, we have triple copies of Effect Baylor. Needle Fiber still is running around, which you guys can't see my eyes rolling there. But, like, honestly, having to deal with that bullshit, like, you unfortunately have to play cards like Effect Baylor to stop those cards. And, of course, the OCG does have the most oppressive of oppressive cards, Triple Maxi. When you see Sky Striker with, you know, an arsenal like this, it's almost kind of worth it. And, of course, they have triple copies of Sky Striker Ray. Now, spells. We have triple copies of Cold by the Grave. Not letting our opponent resolve their max seat is really good. Uh, we do have one copy of Harbeast Feather Duster. Um, honestly, getting a free negate out of solid is really good. Getting the ability to clear off massive back row against sub terror, like, it, it is really good. Uh, we do have one copy of Monster Reborn. Now, we have seen 3, 2, and 1 of Pot of Avarice seeing play in the OCG. Because remember, Kogari is limited, so, like, your resource gain is not the greatest as it once was but playing pot of avarice does allow you to shuffle back those resources and recapitalize on things um like i said last format we saw like the triple pot build which was insane but okay i get it uh, we have one copy of reinforcement army triple copies of area zero still one of the best cards in the deck one copy of afterburners one jamming waves and one hornet drones we have two copies of Shark Cannon. I almost think that Shark Cannon only gets better with the more limitations that you put on the deck. We just kind of climb more link ladders now and do some other dumb shit. Uh, two copies of Widow Anchor, two copies of Multi-Roll. I've heard the infinite debate about wanting to touch this, but I mean the OCG is only playing two because the resource pool is a bit more limited. We have one copy of Terraforming, triple copies of Upstar Goblin. Man, I wish we had this in the States. And we have triple infinite impermanence. The extra deck down here, we have one Topological Bomber Dragon, triple copies of Shizuku, two copies of Kaina, one copy of Kagari, triple Hayate, one Relinquished Anima. Remember, this is one level one monster except for a token, so fun stuff you get to do with this guy. One copy of Ningrisu, one Unicorn, and two copies of the Phoenix. Side deck, we have two copies of Lancia, two copies of Prankatops, one Ghost Bell, triple Mind Control, two Twin Twister, two Judgment, and that's right, ladies and gentlemen, triple copies of There Can Only Be One. Now remember, the OCG is a much different place. Not really. I mean, their format is literally solid Sky Striker. It's just, oddly enough, Sky Striker is a former shell of itself. So, I mean, they just have more bullshit to deal with in the long run with more exclusives and things like that. So, that's, that's Sky Striker. Moving on along, we have Subterra. Now, this almost reminds me of how we're going to be playing the deck here in the States. Obviously, they're playing double terraforming, which, I mean, fuck it. Like, if you have it, you may as well play it. And, of course, the OCG does have Manhunt. We've we've talked about Manhunt over and over, but how I think this card is going to push boundaries in the TCG. I mean, a free infinite impermanence that negates and takes the monster, and then I can use it as link material? Fucking don't mind if I do, actually. So, we have, once again, two copies of Ash Blossom, one copy of Phantasmi. Honestly, the big thing here... Um, between most decks in the T Suit and the OCG, they have Max C. We're using Phantasmi kind of as our Max C at the moment. Phantasmi is definitely a lot better here than it is there. Uh, of course, Triple Max C. We have one Kabu Mastrix, Triple Fiendus, Triple Guru, 
one Nemesis Archer. Man, my theory on double Nemesis Archers just keeps getting shit on. We have one copy of Feather Duster. Triple Duality. Triple Extravaganza. Yep. The Holy Trinity of Draw Power. Uh, two copies of Super Poly. I mean, you have so much control in your deck. Being able to disrupt your opponent and capitalize on whatever they have put on the field as a resource. Like, your whole extra deck is just answers. Like, that's a lot of power. Now, we do have one Terraforming and Triple Hidden City. Now, Traps, we have Triple Infinite Impermanence, two copies of Manhunt, because this card's dumb, two copies of Judgment, two Strike, and the now unlimited three Warning. Excuse me, one of Warning. We have one Final Battle, and we have Triple. There could only be one. Now, I've seen a lot of debate going back and forth between one or three Final Battle. Um, this guy got away with one. I don't think he's worried about back row destruction at all in his format. Now, we do play one Hayate, one Anima, and one Link Kribo, and one Dingrisu, so this is actually pretty interesting. So, you can plop this out on top of an Orcust Link monster. So, what happens if I manhunt, take my opponent's monster going into my turn? I'm just saying, but being able to... Uh, shit out a fucking 28 or 2600 body that is able to use effects we've almost gone back in time with snatch deal and other cool things i have two copies of thousand eyes restrict two copies of starving venom two copies of violet chimera one dragus topalia one panzer dragon two mud dragon and one duplexer chimera side deck we have triple dd crow two prankatops two phantasmi two skullmeister two instant fusion one heavy storm dust for one pro order and two copies of Heavy Storm Duster, bringing this to a close. I do like the tech. Super Poly is really fucking good. Like, actually. And uh, this and this is just hilarious to me in terms of cool things that we actually get to do. Alright, last deck for the day. This is solid. Now, Terra Top has just got checked in the OCG. I, like, we don't have to deal with double Terra Top Takum to Morg anymore. This list literally just said screw it, put in Psychic Wielder and Tracker. Um, those are the two main things that stick out to me. But one thing that the OCG has, and this surprises me until the end of time, that's right, they still have Vanity's Emptiness. If you think you're having a bad day in the TCG and you think our format's shit, just remember, we could be the OCG and we could have Vanity's Emptiness. And you could be getting sacked by other things. They also have Jin as well. So just always remember that. So, we have two copies of Ash Blossom, one copy of DD Crow. I mean, this card's got to make mirror matches incredibly easier, am I right? And we have triple copies of Effect Builder. Once again, Needle Fiber. Like, it doesn't matter if the deck is good or not. Like, if it makes Needle Fiber and it puts threats on the board, it's got to be dealt with. We have triple copies of Phantasmi, two copies of Ghost Build. This is actually pretty interesting. I guess when you are in the first week of the format and you're kind of debating on certain things you might play against. I understand Ghost Belt might be good. Um, I definitely think this is a lot better in certain matchups than other cards, don't get me wrong, but this is still really good. We have triple copies of Lady Debug, of course. We have triple copies of Maxi. We have one Tracker and one Wielder. We have one Falco, two copies of Foxy, triple Gazelle, one copy of Jack Jaguar, and two Spinning. Spells, we have triple Called by the Grave, triple Circle, one Sanctuary, and triple imperm, one rage, and one roar. No, none of the uh, spell card that allows for the revival from the graveyard. So actually, it's kind of interesting. Next deck down here, we have triple copies of Sunlight Wolf, two copies of Heat Leo, triple copies of Valenix, one Phoenix, one Ablaze, one Borload, two copies of Mirage Dalio, one Baguski, and one Abyss Dweller. Side deck, we have one Lancia, two Prankatops. Two Skullmeister, one Violet Chimera, one Fusion Venom Dragon, one Feather Duster, two Super Poly, two Twin Twister, one Pro Order, one Roar, and one copy of Emptiness. In the order, of course. Alright, guys. I just want to say that the OCG is going to be shaping up to be pretty much the same as the TCG. Uh, just not minus 50% more danger cards. I can't wait for the OCG to get danger and they just start messing up everything. Now, of course, tomorrow will be Market Watch on this channel. Remember, Tuesdays and Fridays on this channel are Market Watch. Do remember, every Thursday we do this. We have plenty of discussions in between. And on the weekends, we bring you some nice dual content between Speed Duel, 
to be determined at some point, and real life duels as well, and many discussions and things. Please, so comment down below, tell me what you guys think about this rendition of OCG Thursday, and, well, guys, Big Papa Robbie's up. The ride never, well, truly ends. Thank you, patrons. Without you guys, I don't know what I'd be wearing in these videos. I might be a truffle shuffle wincing all over again. Guys, please also check out Vancol40 for some awesome Vanger content. Some other interesting stuff you might find up here on the left or in the description as well. Thanks for watching.